Hello again. This is uh, a Husky LT4200 that I purchased off an individual on Craigslist last week. Uh, initially, I thought I got a pretty good deal. The, he got $200 plus $10 to deliver it. So $210. Well, once I got into it and got looking at different parts, so I'm not so sure I got a good deal. Right now, I'm going from end to end, top to bottom, going through everything. Um, all the bearings are going to be checked and cleaned and repacked or replaced if necessary. Drive belts are going to be, all of those are going to get changed out. Now, this is only four years old. One thing I think he did wrong was he's a little crazy with a pressure washer. And all the bearings are just full of water. So I'm a little disappointed on that. I've rebuilt the spindles. Um, there's the mower deck. It's all apart. On the underside of the mower deck, I put two coats of Eastwood rust encapsulator. And I also have some... Uh, coating, a marine coating on its way and I'm going to put that on top to see if I can get it to hold up a little longer. But my effort this afternoon is going to be to address the cracks on the seat, which are quite common. Now this one here isn't too bad, but this, one, this crack here was quite large. So what I did was I took some of this Frost King polyfoam caulk. Now this is closed cell, so it will not absorb moisture or uh, hopefully uh, it's not going to absorb or get melted by the shoe goo. But I'm going to, and the reason I went with this is because the crack was so large it would take several tubes to fill it up. And they say to, if you want it to look halfway decent, to go with thin layers and apply thin coats every three to four hours. So we're going to try that and see if we can make this look halfway decent. Okay, I've already done that smaller crack on the front left side of the seat. I just wanted to get a feel for how this stuff works. And I notice it sets up kind of quick, at least so far. Kind of sad that things don't last very long anymore. I mean, like I said, this it's just four years old. It was always stored inside. on the side there. I was watching another YouTuber, Double White Six, and that's where I learned about shoe goo. So I'm going to let that cure up for three hours anyway, put another light coat on it. So there's that small tear I had on the front corner, and there's that larger split. Get this thing to focus. So like I say, I'll come back in three hours or so and put another light coat on it. 
It's got to be better than just letting it ex be exposed like it was. It's been about four and a half hours since I put the first coat on. And the instructions say to allow repair to cure for 24 hours and three to four hours between each layer. And they also say about using acetone for cleanup, which I did here, and I'm not too thrilled on how that looks. So I'm not going to be using any more acetone on it. Now the small, I don't know if you can see it on now, I'm not going to move the camera, but the small tear looks pretty good. I mean, if it was matte black or it matches a little more, I'd be thrilled to death, but hey, it's not a perfect world. So I'm going to put a second coat on this and maybe tomorrow even a third coat. I got quite a hole right here I got to try to fill. Now, I'm going to show you something interesting I discovered here just a little while ago. Like I say, about buying stuff off Craigslist, or you just never know. I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be Craigslist, it can be anything. Put a little extra right there. Hopefully, I can keep it from tearing anymore. I'm just going to put another coat on that small tear up front. That's it. I believe I mentioned earlier that I had rebuilt both the spindles on this Husky that I bought last week. And it never dawned on me and never occurred to me. But look at those spindles. There are the spindles, okay? And just this afternoon, it, do you see anything wrong? I say wrong. The pulley on the right is larger than the pulley on the left. So that means the blades would be spinning at different speeds. So where the pulley on the left came from, I have no idea. So I ordered another one today. So they'll be matching. I mean, I could leave it like that, but <laughs> just strange. I've moved this uh, Husky LT4200 outside to let you see how that seat repair turned out. One thing I found is that at least on the tube that I used is I did not have much working time from when I applied it till I tried smoothing it out. It definitely wanted to start to wrinkle up real quick. It seems like it has leveled out a little bit but that's three coats put on two coats yesterday and then I just put on one more coat this morning long way to go on this ship take care and thanks for watching